All right. Well, as we start off this Tuesday morning, a uh, quick time to update you on some world from the world, some news from the world of tech, and very interesting stories <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Unintentional mistakes, if you will. The third part. <laughs> um, absolutely loving this first one. When it comes to news about Elon Musk, I think half the time it's sheer brilliance. The other half, it might just be madness. Has <laughs> the man lost his mind? Well, this story falls, I think, somewhere in between. Maybe, probably more towards the madness side. You may have heard about his engineering company called the Boring Company. Absolutely cool stuff which is working towards building underground tunnels around America, of course, to use as next-generation transport. Well, in a move to raise funds, they've developed a real-life flamethrower. Dun, no. dun, dun. No. Like something out of a sci-fi movie, something Why? we've all grown up watching. And this past weekend, they actually started taking pre-orders. There oh it my is. Look word. at it. That's crazy. It looks like a toy. Now, it all started as a joke back in December when he said if his company could sell 50,000 hats, okay, obviously to raise funds, then they would start selling flamethrowers. Well, they obviously reached that target. And because Elon doesn't believe in shying away from a challenge, the boring company is the least boring company in the world now. They have pre-sold 7,000 units no. of the personal flamethrower. No indication has been made as to when the flamethrowers will be ready for shipping, but we definitely say that this deal is hot, hot, hot. Well, it could also end up Stupid. in potential disaster. Stupid. Like, what do you think 7,000 people are going to look like walking around with ah. flamethrowers? Because does it, like, really qualify as a as a gun, a like weapon, it's according to US law? Bribes. Do you see what I mean? It's like, there could be so bribes. many problems coming out of this. Anyway, <laughs> another another potentially big problem uh, arose. I don't know if you know the uh, running app Strava, right? Yeah, so I've, yeah. I've tried to use it, never really got into it. But basically, it allows users all around the world to link up in communities and work in their kind jogging game or running game. Together, exactly, yeah. and then see where people are. So they've, they've now developed a, a new part of the software that uses a, a heat map, if you will, to track where all the global users are using it. So something like this. But what this has resulted in right now is that uh, the potentially secret location of some US military personnel <laughs> oh has been revealed because they've been using the app in a certain part of the world. And uh, it's, uh, I'm assuming this was completely we are picking up a heat unintentional. <laughs> so they, they're stationed somewhere uh, in Afghanistan. <laughs> in Djibouti and Syria, uh, where, of course, there's been a certain military activity going on, but now this exposes them to anybody who the, knows the about... The rebels are like, where is my Strava? Put you know the Strava I mean? on. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, oh not word. really, really amazing news for, for the app there. They might just want to turn off that functionality. I now know who bought the 7,000 flamethrowers. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, man. Don't. That wasn't supposed to be funny. funny. I didn't mean to laugh. Don't. Oh, no, that's evil. Oh, what a crazy world we live in. <laughs>